All right, so um, within supervised machine learning, there are two types of problems, regression and classification. Um, basically, when people invent a new algorithm for supervised machine learning, so usually they first invent an algorithm for regression, and then they modify it for classification, or vice versa. So probably they will invent a classification algorithm and then invent how it can be adopted for, for regression. So now let's look into regression and classification. Um, let me introduce some notation first, right? So um, the response variable uh, is going to be a capital Y. So capital Y is something like a random variable, right? So, uh, so random variables are going to be denoted with capital letters. And um, the feature vector is X, so it has P uh, entries. So and every entry of the feature vector is also a random vector. So now, uh, so we are assuming that there is some kind of law of nature, so some ground truth. So um, that describes the, the, the process that, that we're dealing with, right? So this ground truth is a function f of x, right? So y is a function of f of x plus some random noise. So and um, we assume that random noise has ex expected value zero. Sorry. And variance of our random noise is uh, some sigma square. So uh, supervised learning is a study of method for estimating our unknown function f. So th th this function is completely unknown. So we believe that, that there is such a function, so the, the ground truth. But we, of course, we don't know what it is. Uh, from a matrix of observed data, right? So uh, th this is a matrix. The first row is our first observation. Second row is our second observation. Um, and, and so on. So every row is one observation. And every column is one feature. So a column here is a feature. So observations are denoted with um, a superscript. So when we write x i uh, superscript, we mean the ith observation. And features are denoted with subscript. So this is the case feature. So, and the, the whole idea of supervised learning is that we uh, come up with some statistical model to approximate our unknown function f. So, and our algorithm for approximation is denoted by f hat. So the hat thing is always what we, what we know. So the f without hat is the unknown. f with hat is our algorithm. So, and predictions are also denoted with, with, with the hat. And so, so um, big Y is like uh, the a random variable and small Y is its observation. So when I write small Y, what I mean is that this is our predicted output for some observed input X. Um, in regression problems, the response variable is numeric like here. Uh, we want to predict uh, sales given budgets for uh, ad campaigns for TV, radio, and newspaper. So by the way, um, this ISLR is our textbook. It is called Introduction to Statistical Learning in R. So this is our textbook. All right, so this is uh, a small part of the actual data, but you see that it comes in a tabular form, right? So this is an observation, and this is our feature. So in classification problem, the response variable is categorical, right? So like in the example that we already saw today, so credit card default, the response variable um, in, in this case is one of the classes, yes, or no. Now it is important that uh, while the the observed um, the observed data 
has a categorical response variable, but the output of a machine learning algorithm is some, something else. It's not it is a probability vector. So the output of um, our algorithm is always a whole vector. Uh, so for example, this number here means that according to our algorithm for uh, classification, with the observed values of all the features, the probability that this, this person is going to, to be default is the, this number, which is approximately 22%. Right? So the, there is a 22% chance that this person is going to default. Right? So um, what we have here, so we're going to denote it with, with heads. So because the output of a machine learning algorithm is always denoted by something we with heads, right? So the, this head means that this is not the observed data, this is our prediction. And our predictions are always a vector of probabilities. So this is uh, why I1 is the probability that um, the, um, the outcome belongs to the first categorical class, the I, why I2 is the probability that the outcome becomes to the second categorical class and so on and so forth, right? So look at this. So why I uh, K hat, right? So this is the conditional probability. So it is supposed to approximate. We do not know the true conditional probability that um, our output Y equals to K but we can only estimate it, right? So this is the estimated conditional probability that y equals k, given that x is the observed value x, xi. So this is the conditional probability. So in binary classification, of course, we just omit the second entry because this, the second entry is one minus the, the first entry. So th th there is no point to explicitly report it. Well, um, so notice that um, the observed output and the predicted output, they kind of have different format in, the, in this case. So it is more convenient to convert them so that they have the, the same out, the, the same format, right? So um, in this example, the observed output is no here, no here, no here, no here, and, and yes here. But we will convert them into zeros and ones, just just so that it kind of follows the the, the, the same format as the uh, predicted output. Right? So y i k is one if uh, the observed value of y. Yeah, sorry, this should be a small small um, oh, y. Or I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's, I think it's all right. So the if the observed value of y um, for the i's um, uh, example in, in the data is, is k, then it's going to be 1. The corresponding entry is going to be 1 and 0 otherwise. OK, so I hope it's clear. Uh, now a little quiz for you that covers this um, regression versus classification. 